Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is about a light in the dark. This is going to be about a situation that you're going through, something you're not seeing about the situation and what can be done. So we have pile number one, which is represented with a piece of pyrite. Pile number two, which is represented by a gold stone. And pile number three, is represented by a piece of yellow jade. So go ahead and choose the pile that resonates with you. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna take this moment to ask that if you like these readings, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing and turning on the bell icon so you can be notified of when I upload. And leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. It makes my day a lot brighter. Some of you have actually become friends and I appreciate having you in my life. So drop me a line. Tell me something about yourself, even if it's just your favorite color. Um, if there is a deck that you want to see, a stone that you want to see, a type of reading that you want to see, let me know down below. I'll be happy to do that for you. Um, I'm not open to personal readings right now. And um, anything you need to know about me is in the description box. Uh, Timestamps, as always, are in the comments. And let's get started. Pile number one two, and three. If you need a bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. And here we go. All right. Pile number one. Proving all that glitters is not gold. Not you guys, but the stone there, the pyrite. Which means, to me, I'm seeing that as, if you're not born rich, it doesn't mean that you're not wealthy. People think of wealthy as only meaning having money, but you can be wealthy in love, you can be wealthy in land, you can be wealthy in family, you can be wealthy in spirit, you can be wealthy in hope, in creativity, in joy. Find what makes you happy. Find what, sorry, makes you feel wealthy and hold on to it. All right, so I'm sorry. Let's see here. We have... <clears throat> Death. Okay. So you're currently, the situation calls for change. You're currently going through a change. Now change can be scary, but as you see here, it says the eternal cycle begins here. Of course, something needs to end for something else to begin. In order for the death's head moth to come forth, a caterpillar has to die or, yeah. So, and then... We have a skull of light illumination. Okay, so you're making a change in your life, a big change in your life, because you learned something new. This big change could be you get a job because of what you learned at school. And a job out in the real world, living a life where you're not having to go to school every day and having to change hours and everything's kind of frantic and it's sort of stable and relaxed, you know, that can change a person. And it can feel like a death in a way because you're getting rid of that old frantic, you know, got to get to this class at this time and that class at that time and over here by then. And we only have 15 minutes to make this switch over here. And that's like a mile apart. So we're going to have to run it. Um, yeah, because this change that's coming for you, it's a good change. Um, it's, it's like, I don't know if it came out in one of the other piles yet. I haven't, I'm going to look at one of the other decks cause they're one of the, I'm looking for a specific card in this deck and, um, it talks about the sacredness of pausing and that death card, the imagery is so similar that I can kind of see it linked. So I'm going to pull it out because I know it definitely was not used for another reading, but I'm surprised it did not come out in yours because you see like the, the skull or the, you know, instead of a skull, it's a leaf. There's still the clouds. So I feel like there is this change because you took time out and that time out brought things to light that caused this change to happen. But it's such a good change. It's like you go from dead, just a skull, right? 
and then the skull gets the illumination, and now you're a mummy. So it brings you back to life. And that is an awesome thing. So whatever is coming, or whatever you're going through, what you want to do is look for knowledge. You want to talk to somebody smarter than you. You want to talk to somebody wiser than you. You want to talk to somebody who has who had more experience than you. You want to talk to a psychologist, a therapist. If you're a chef and you want to, this is about cooking for you. You're going through a change as far as going from cooking school to actually finding a job. Talk to one of your teachers. And, and, and the, not even cooking school. I don't know why I said that. But like any school, talk to your teacher and they will help you to find something if you're doing the, the things you're supposed to do and you're learning the things you're supposed to learn. But you are learning what you're supposed to learn because you're coming back to life. You may be feeling sad. You may be having a really rough time, but that is like ending. And like you're getting this new, like a breath of fresh air, like a second wind. And it's almost like your your life is almost like the, the land warming back up in the springtime. Like you're you're coming back to life. And it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and I cannot wait for it to happen for you guys. And this could even be as something minor as this whole quarantine thing has been a huge change for you. And um, for those of you who may be watching this in the future in 2020 um, in winter and spring, we, we faced a, a virus called COVID-19 that had us all quarantined. And staying at home and it kind of drove everybody a little bit well antsy so if this is like you're staying at home and this is a massive change for you taking time off not working constantly you're realizing that you need to have that balance you need to take more time off you can't just work constantly you have to have something outside of work and this change like awakens like almost a new life within you and it's going to be beautiful Oh, that's the other one <laughs> I just got is um, since I when I just said it, it awakens a new life within you. Some of you have um, kind of been feeling <clears throat> really sad and blue because you've been trying for a baby and you start tracking your um, days and yeah, new life. <laughs> but I don't see that as for a whole lot of you. I see that mostly there is a big change coming and during this change, you're learning something or something is being brought to life that is bringing you back to life and allowing you to be happy again. And I really hope that's true because you beautiful pyrite people deserve happiness. You deserve joy. You deserve love. You deserve to feel like, well, like you're walking on sunshine. Whoa. I hope you have a great day and I love you guys. All right. Pile number two. My gorgeous goldstone folk. I moved the light a little bit, so you can't really... I'm sorry. I'm going to have to move it over here so you can... All right. Let's see. Skull of Stars. Infinite Possibilities. So you're sort of in a place of indecision. You're trying to decide something. I kind of see this as the Seven of Cups in Tarot. Like, there's so many options, and you're trying to choose something. Um, or maybe you're not sure what to choose. Like, okay, when I'm putting these two cards together, what I'm sort of seeing here, infinite possibilities in spider community and web weaving is that some of you are not used to social distancing. You're not used to getting your, you know, I don't, I don't know how to, social interactions through the internet. And um, for those of you, you're trying to find your community. And I'm going to give you a quick tip. If you're looking for an online community, you're going to want to look. start with your high school graduating class. Look on all the social media platforms for your high school graduating class and look for alumni there. Because then you can find people you went to high school with that know you there. Or if you if that's not something you're into, uh, go on Facebook and look for a group for Jimmy Buffett fans. Look for a group for 311 fans. Look for a group for, I don't know, Justin Bieber fans. Whatever floats your boat, you're going to want to look for that group. 
And those are going to be your people. And there's infinite possibilities because I'm sure there's a ton of things you're interested in. If you look at me, I mean, right here, you've got, I'm interested in, you know, animals. I'm interested in writing. I'm interested in gem, uh, pre semi-precious gemstones. I'm interested in tarot. Just right here in this one little viewfinder, you can see all of that. And um, find the things that you're interested in and find the communities that feel most welcoming and healing to you and that's where you belong and <laughs> I'm sorry that was such a nerdy laugh I'm so sorry um but I'm gonna keep it in because <laughs> I just want you to look at this card hearth happiness in our hearts and homes Now, for those of you who may not know, um, in the olden times, you know, like even so, <laughs> even so soon as 1910, we used to have brick ovens that we, we did our cooking off of. Um, we made our bread in there, they heated our home. There was often something above this, either a mantle or a, you know, a piece like this that you could hang your ladles on, that you could hang your pokers on, that you could hang your stockings on, what have you. Um, and the hearth is the area in front of it where people would just kind of sit and drink hot cocoa around the fire and just enjoy each other's company. And I snort laughed like a nerd because this is <laughs> exactly what I was saying here is you, there's infinite possibilities for community for you and you can find this happiness easily. You can find your home easily just by following, going on the World Wide web and following the things you're interested in. Um, and again, take, the, take the time to, to sort of hang back like a spider does and watch the situation before approaching it because, you know, a, a spider is going to approach a wasp far differently than it would approach a fly. So take the time to measure the situation and in the group, watch the interactions, make sure it's not a, a group for trolls. Um, and I think you're going to be fine because this is beautiful. I think you, you wind up finding your, your people, your clan, the folks that you, you're meant to be with your friends for life. I think they're, uh, they're there waiting. You just, you haven't found them yet and you will. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, <clears throat> wonderful day. And I want to thank you for stopping by and I hope you stay safe out there. Bye. Love you guys. All right. Pile number three. You guys chose the yellow jade. I love this stone. It's so pretty. It always looks like almost like a little pat of butter just sitting there or a light colored caramel. All right. So what do you, we've got forgiveness, reducing burden. So you're taking time to forgive something or someone. Cauldron, synergy and healing. Not surprised that came out with forgiveness. That's, they usually go together. <laughs> no, okay. Pun intended hand in hand. Um, and that brings you joy. Okay. Well, this seems like a pretty simple message. And I love how all the yellow kind of goes throughout. So when you take time to forgive the people that have hurt you, the situations that have hurt you in the past, and you find love for yourself, then you find the synergy and healing. And through the synergy and healing comes joy. And when you find this joy... Then, you know, you're like dancing, you know, and having a grand old time and life is good. But the forgiveness, a lot of people think that forgiveness is about forgiving the other, letting go for the other person. But forgiveness is about letting go for yourself. Forgiveness is saying, I'm not going to carry this bullshit anymore. This is not my bullshit to carry. This is not my karma or burden to bear. This is yours. So I'm removing it from myself and I'm forgiving you. Now it's up to you in the universe. Synergy and healing says that's, that's what you get out of it. And the joy is your end result. You're going to be happy. 
you're going to find happiness where you're at and all around you. But first, you have to forgive whatever this is that can bring you this healing. So you can find this joy. So that is what I have for you, pile number three. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I hope you find that healing. And I hope you are able to get that forgiveness. And I hope that you find some love for yourself. Love you guys. For those wondering what deck these cards are from, this is the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco and Jimmy Manton. Absolutely gorgeous deck, beautiful book, lovely cards, lovely stories behind them. I absolutely love this. One of my favorites. It's just too bad it's Halloween because, well, it doesn't really stop me from using it, but, you know. It seems weird using it in the springtime when it's a lot of fall imagery, but it feels right. All right. Have a good day, guys. I love you.